congratulations on coming third to Jane. Thank you. <laughs> As I just said to you in the break, I don't think anybody watching could have wished for a perfect three finalists because of the relationship you've all had together, yeah. because of the rows that have happened between all three of you and the competitiveness yes. between especially you and Audley. Yes. So is it slightly bittersweet that you're out before him? Um, not really. You know what? Out of the two people that are left in the house, I really do, uh, believe that Audley deserves to win. Um, I don't particularly like either of the people that are in the house. That's come across. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, you know, I, I expect to be spoken to in a certain way as should everybody in life. Yep. And if someone's rude, I will say something. Yep. So, yeah. Um, we're going to touch on, on specifics with them in yep. a little while. But first, we want to take a look at you. Because you went from the bad boy of ballroom yes. to the bad boy of Big Brother. Really? People just don't get my humour. It's humour. See, where's the British humour gone? That's the problem. Um, <laughs> and now, now we're not going to be able to hear each other because they're chanting, boo, James. <laughs> um, now, it did seem, it did seem, James, correct me if I'm wrong, that you love pushing people's buttons. Listen, my, uh, yeah, I, I have, I And you said yourself, you're a wind-up man. Listen, th if they're too serious that they can't take a bit of banter, a bit of humour, then that's their problem, not mine. Yeah. They've gone into the Big Brother house, they understand what Big Brother's about, they yeah. should do. Yeah. Um, but if they take themselves that seriously, them, that's what I say. <laughs> I love how you're like, I just said that, I'm going to sit back and then smirk. Yeah. Um, do you think you ever crossed the line? Um, no, I don't, because I'm not a malicious person. Um, I do everything in jest. Like, for example, the thing with Gary, where you saw me doing this to him, yeah. he'd just literally done it to me, like, five minutes before. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Gary's doing this in my face, is that acceptable from a 70-year-old? Not really. What about with Lauren? Lauren? Um, Lauren we did is, see you apologise. Lauren is a lovely girl, but everything I said was true. There's, there's nothing... I've never lied. Everything I've said is true. Um, you know, when she tried to jump in my bed in her G-string and things like that, I find that inappropriate. Mm. I said it because, at the end of the day, you could make me look to be a certain way on camera. I understand how Big Brother works. But we so never did. You that, didn't, that but I still had like that, to bring James. it up just in case. Yeah, to cover so, your back. Exactly. To, well, to cover my back, because at the end you of the day, I have my yeah. amazing wife yeah. out here, and if she sees that some hot other girl is jumping in my bed in her yeah. G-string, I was gone! Um, and, and with the other stuff with Ricky, Ricky is probably one of the nicest people you will ever meet. Whatever anyone thinks here, Ricky is amazing. He's an amazing person and I wish him all the best. He hasn't got a mean bone in his body. So from somebody who you love and you think is amazing to somebody that you verbally sparred with... Who? Quite a lot. Audley. I don't know. Who, who's he? Oh, Audley, yeah. What's the beef? What's the beef um, with Audley? Audley? Audley kind of... Uh, has a big attitude. The way he speaks to people, he demands people, go and do this, go and do that. How about please? You know, I'll, I'll do whatever anyone wants. I, I think being in the as house, you have to manners. be a team player. There's manners. There's a way of speaking to people. And if someone speaks to me in a bad way, I will come back ten times harder. I'm not scared of him. He's a boxing champion. What's the worst that he can do? Knock me out. And I've been knocked out before. No, I just don't like him. Okay. That's, that, there's so many okay. nice people in that Let, house. Let's, Amazing. Let's do something nice and that I think is amusing and that you love a bit of banter, so let's do it. Go on. You seem to have a slight memory loss in the house. Probably. So we want to clarify something yes. for you. Are you ready to see yes. it? Here you go. I've been doing this 44 years. I know you have. I've been dancing 26. <laughs> I'm in a big movie. The difference is in the dance world, I'm like the Brad Pitt. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Who told you that? I'm, I'm on the top, mate. The top oh, of my game. Who told you that? It's a fact. <laughs> so, See, again. hold on. OK, I didn't realise, yeah. Now do you remember yeah. saying it? See, I thought to myself, there's no way I would ever say that. And I was... Come on, Fully. James, come on. I, no, I thought to myself, I would never, ever say that. Obviously, I have, but once again, my humour has been misinterpreted. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't take James, myself too seriously. It was hilarious, that comment, and we have dined out on it on Box <laughs> All Series. Thank um, you, Listen, producers. as I said to you when you came out, you have been one of the best panto villains we have ever 
had. Thank you, Thank Emma. Thank you so much. Love you. You're brilliant, Thank by you. the way. James. Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you.